The export support team in Bovington have been given direction from Wananchi to do an evaluation on their Seon water purification unit. Just place it down. Very simple, just undo the catches, lift the lid. Got a red hose, try and make it idiot proof. Red hose goes on the red ring, yep. so in high, simple identification. Little bayonet fitting. Don't care the hose. There. Up the blue hose to the blue ring. Close the valve so we can build some pressure up when we switch on. We've got a safety red patch just to switch it off easy. Switch it on. Ring power light comes on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nothing else to do. That's good. Is it clean? That water is basically tap water quality from the UK. A little bit better actually. So how long will the uh, the battery last? The battery um, pump essentially 2,000 litres of water, 2 tonnes of water per charge. You can charge it from multiple power sources as well, be it from the car, solar mat, generator, mains power. The, uh, the three uh, filters, are they uh, stage filters? Yeah, they are. Um, the first filter removes um, all the worst of the sediment out of the water um, and then removes any nasty colours, tastes, makes it palatable. The uh, second filter starts to polish the water down to a level where the ultraviolet lamp will work and be effective. Um, it's got it pretty clear then. And we move to the third filter, which is a 0.2 micron membrane filter. This removes any nasties out of the water, bugs, etc. The smallest known bacteria to man has got a size of 0.3 micron, so they're not going to get through it. So we end up with um, good taste and clear, safe water at the end. What happens to any of the water that goes into um, the case? Essentially, there's a shipping bung on the side, um, drain any water out. But all the electrical components in there have got an IP66 rated, they're waterproof. Essentially you could sink that into the water and it will still operate without any damage to anything inside. Grab the lid there. Thanks as well.